Hey guys, my name is Nathan Chan, I'm the CEO and publisher of Founder Magazine, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you our top five ways to organically grow an Instagram account. Now, you might be thinking, who the hell is this guy? Why is he qualified to teach? Well, I've been lucky enough to grow a lot of Instagram accounts, generate millions of dollars using Instagram, and one of our largest accounts, our actual company account, at Founder, you know, you can see here on the screen, uh, we've been able to grow that to like 1.7 million followers. And at the time of recording this video, that's what we're at now. You can see here also on the screen on our Social Blade statistics, the graph like we've organically grown, you know, every single year. I think in the first like year, we got it to half a million followers. In the second year, we got it to over a million followers. And the account still to this day grows 500 to 1,000 new followers a day. And we don't spend any money on doing this. This is all organic. And we're gonna be sharing with you the top five strategies that we've used to grow this particular account and other accounts and companies that I run. So the first thing that you need to be doing is following the unicorn strategy. So you might be thinking like, what the hell is the unicorn strategy? Well, this is a strategy that we've come up with and something that I've seen works time and time again. We've been using Instagram to grow you know, our account for like quite a few years now. And one thing that I've found is this strategy is algorithm proof, okay? So sometimes you might be worried about like, oh, you know, all these strategies, whatever, like, you know, algorithm and how do I know this is gonna work forever? I know from recording this video, you know, if you're watching this one year from now when we've recorded it, this is still gonna help you. So when it comes to the unicorn strategy, what it basically means is we're always looking for the hottest possible posts that are going to crush it. So on every Instagram account out there, there are, there are posts that do really, really well. Now, whatever, whether you have a company account or a personal brand page or a meme page where it's like a fan page, whatever that account is, there must be other pages out there that are similar to yours. So what you wanna do is go out and find all of the accounts that are similar to yours in the marketplace and start scanning. You want What you wanna do is you wanna find that unicorn. What is the post that is just absolutely popped? So I'll give you an example and I'll actually pull it up here on the screen. So like for example, if you look at, you know, here's the founder account. Um, if you look at, you know, some of our posts like this one, it's got 11,000 likes and it's got 132 comments and that's not too bad. And then if you look at this one, it's got 11,000 likes and 152 comments. And this one's got 6,000 likes and 86 comments. So what we're trying to do, let's just say if you were speaking the same industry as founder, um, you know, this one hasn't done that well. It's only got 4,000. Uh, you look at this one, it's only got 1,513 comments. But what you wanna do is if you look at this one, it's got 14,274 comments. So I would consider this particular post a unicorn post. Now, it's just outperformed the majority of the posts on our feed. So what you wanna be doing is going to like competitor accounts, looking at those accounts and finding out like what is unique about this post? Why has it really like driven a nerve to this market? And then what you wanna be doing is replicating that. You don't have to, or you could repost it. You either want to recreate something similar or you want to repost it. Now, why do you want to do that? Why, does that? why is that important? Well, because in the Instagram world, right, Instagram is going to serve people the images that get the most amount of engagement. So your goal to organically grow your Instagram account is to post the best possible content that you can and get it found. So the only way you can do that is look at the data and look at the you know, statistics and engagement for other accounts in your industry. So that's the unicorn strategy, guys. So basically, go out there, look at competitors' accounts, 
Find out what are the things that are unicorns and try and replicate that. And every single post going forward that you wanna put out, it has to be a unicorn. You have to find these unicorn posts and you have to consistently try and put them out. And keep looking at the data, keep reiterating. That's the, you know, that's the thing when it comes to Instagram. You have to post the best possible content. So it doesn't matter if there's an algorithm change or any of that kind of rubbish. This is what's really going to organically grow your account. Because we've found from experience, every time that we post a unicorn photo that just does really, really well, gets hundreds of comments, and usually between 10 to 20, even 30,000 likes, it usually generates a spike in organic growth. So the second thing you can do to really blow up the organic growth of your Instagram account is post viral content that is very, very shareable, that encourages people to tag their friends. So we've found from our experience, if you get people to tag a friend or you do some sort of post that really encourages engagement to tag a friend, it's very, very, very powerful. So I'm just gonna show you now some examples of like viral kind of content that will really, really help your account grow. So as you can see here on the screen, now we've got another account open. This is a Healthish, this company's called Healthish. This is a, another business, it's a physical product business that has nothing to do with Founder that uh, I run with my girlfriend. So here's an example of a viral post. Now, you know, you might call this a giveaway. You know, this is exactly what it is. It's a giveaway, it's a competition where we're encouraging people to tag their friends, right? So this post has gone like, in a way, I don't know if it's gone super viral, but look how many comments, look how many people have tagged their friends. So we've changed the, we've changed the caption, but we've encouraged people to tag their friends. And look how many people have tagged their friends. It's got over a thousand plus comments and we, because we're doing a giveaway and this is really, really powerful. So that's one way to really get your account to virally grow and get a lot of engagement and a lot of organic growth is to do a competition, do a giveaway. Um, another thing that you can do is get people to tag their friends. So I'll show you another example as well. So you can see this video here. If you look at it from the feed, it says tag a friend who needs this. So when you wanna encourage engagement, you want to really make sure you get people to tag a friend. That's very, very important. The more you get people to tag their friends, the more you can kind of grow your account organically. So when it comes to you know, this particular post, you know, we've got a video and it's saying tag a friend, it's talking about the product. And you know, when we posted this particular video, it generated a lot of sales and it generated a lot of organic growth. So what I want you to take away from this particular point is look for images and think about how you can creatively get people to tag a friend, whether it's through a giveaway, whether it's through a post in some way, shape or form. Whatever it is, just think about how you can engage your community on Instagram to organically share and promote your account. So here's another example, which you'll see on the screen. Like you see how Gary V, he's got a massive personal brand, but it's like tag one person who runs a business. So I've found from my experience, when you do these kinds of posts, where you actually call people out, get them to tag a friend, it actually organically grows your account really, really well. So the key takeaway for this is post viral content that's going to get a lot of people to tag their friends, whether it's a giveaway or actually a piece of content where you actually call people out. And that's a great way. You wanna get other people to promote your account that already follow you because if their friends are recommending it, then there's a very, very strong chance they're gonna follow you too. So get people in your community to do the work for you. Even if you have a small account, this is very, very relevant. You just have to make sure that you get people's attention with something that is relevant to them, that they care about, and then flip that and get them to tag a friend, or flip that and get them to promote your account organically. So the third thing you need to be doing to organically grow your Instagram account is to be posting consistently and frequently. So I know this is like probably an obvious one to many, but one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is they say, oh, you know, my account isn't growing anymore. And then I go and look at it and they just haven't posted in like a week. And then I look after that, like when they last posted, like how many times did they post like before that? 
and they've only posted like four times in like you know three weeks i get really confused and frustrated because the way that you grow any social media account on any platform is you have to post regularly and consistently um, so you know what these platforms if you step outside of things for a second what these platforms want is for you to provide them content and if you provide content to them on the regular and it's consistent you actually train the algorithm for whatever social media network that you know you're on to serve your content because they only want to serve the best possible content to the users that want to see it so if you're consistently putting things out there you're going to give yourself a much higher chance to organically grow your account because more people are going to see your content there's this really good tool that we use to track the growth of our Instagram account we showed you before it's called social blade now if you look at founder for example on social blade you can see how often we post and you can see our account is organically growing right now you know at least you know 500 to a thousand followers a day on average and look how many times that we post we are posting consistently five to six sometimes seven eight, even eight times a day the lowest we've got is four and look at this you can see right now that on the days that we posted less, we got actually we actually got less followers. Isn't that fascinating, right? So the we've found for us at Founder, the more we post, the faster we grow. And we've found, you know, whatever algorithm, people always talk about the algorithm update and my engagement's rubbish and all this stuff. We have done this consistently for like three plus years since we've been on Instagram, guys. So if there's one thing you can take away to organically grow your account, and you can see the numbers don't lie here, it's to post consistently. So at Founder, we wanna be posting at least five to eight times a day. And you can see even here from the numbers that we got less followers organically because we're not paying for these followers, it's all organic. And this has been compounding ever since the beginning of starting Founder. So it's, my, it's easy to say, oh, well, you guys have 1.7 million followers, that's easy. But I guarantee you, even in the early days, even if you only have a couple of hundred followers, if you are consistent and you are always just posting great content, then your account will grow. You have to be disciplined. This is very, very important. You have to be prepared to do the work produce great content. And I know this is obvious, but I just want to show you guys the data doesn't lie. So the fourth thing that you want to be doing to organically grow your Instagram account is commenting and engaging on the top pages in your market. So I'm going to pull up here on the screen. You can see uh, this other company that I uh, run with my girlfriend, Healthish. Um, this, you know, this account isn't verified, has 40,000 followers, but and some of you might think that's a lot, like that's a lot, some of you might not, but one of the ways that we've been able to grow it is to engage on big influencer accounts in the market that we want to serve. So as an example, just as an example, like we know that like um, someone that, you know, might be interested in potentially, you know, buying a bottle or following our account would be perhaps Kukai Australia, right? And so I'm gonna pull it up here you know, if we were to engage, people are going to see that follow that particular account. And, you know, you don't want to be spammy, right? But every single day, if you can, you want to be able to engage with accounts like, you know, company accounts, fan page accounts, or influencer personal brand accounts, and provide value. If you can provide value to certain posts, people will see them. And if they get a lot of likes, they'll actually appear at the top of the feed. So here's an example. Like if you go to Alan, for example, um, and you go to comments, you'll see, look, all of the top comments are the ones that get the most likes. So this person, you know, it's a baby. Those leg rolls are giving me everything I need. So you know, you don't have to be funny, you don't have to do any of that, but what I want you to take away is one way to really rapidly, organically grow your account very, very fast that we've seen from our experience is going and engaging on other accounts and writing insightful, valuable, or funny things that will potentially get a lot of likes, and then when people go to comments, this is the first one you see. So it's just like, wow, okay, 
and then a lot of people will see this and a small percentage of those people will actually start following you. So yeah, this is a really, really powerful strategy that we've done at Founder and that we also do with any of our other accounts as well, like this company, Healthish, that I run with my girlfriend as well. So the fifth thing that you wanna be doing to organically grow your Instagram account and this one, you know, maybe it might not be considered organic, but I have to share it with you guys because it's very, very powerful, is doing shout outs. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you around, you know, what is a shout out first of all? Well, a shout out is when you get somebody else, a influencer or a company or a fan page or a meme page to go out there and repost one of your photos on their stories or on their actual feed and actually tag you. So if people see that, they will click through. So there's a few different ways you know you can do shout outs. Probably what would be not considered organic is paying those people. So I don't, this is not part of the video, like it is not organic growth if you're paying someone to shout you out or do a post. So what you can do is if you have a company, you can send people product. Let's say you have a physical product business, just like Healthish. So like, as you can see here on the screen, it's a, it's a time marked water bottle, which tells you when you should drink. Like, you know, when we send out product to influencers, that organically grows our Instagram account, the Healthish account very, very fast. And to be honest, out of all these strategies, this would be the number one strategy to rapidly grow your account very, very fast. To get other big influencers or people, or people that have more followers than you, getting them to, to, to rep you, to say, hey, like this is really cool, or hey, I love this piece of content. And that's one of the fastest ways from my experience to rapidly grow an Instagram account. It's how we've rapidly grown Founder, even though we don't do that anymore at Founder, it's how I've rapidly grown Healthish and any other account that we wanna grow. So how do you actually do that? You're probably thinking, well, that sounds great, Nathan. I don't have a company. I don't have anything I want to share. Well, what you have to do is you have to think about what is the value exchange that I can provide to someone. So let's just say right now you only have a couple of hundred followers and you just wanna grow your personal brand account. You wanna become an Instagram influencer. So what you wanna do firstly is follow the first four steps. You know, be consistent, you know, produce great content, um, you know, comment on pages, do giveaways, you know, do like find viral content and grow your page, you know, get, you know, and take the time. It takes time to grow any account. It won't happen overnight. And then once you've built up, you know, maybe a few hundred followers, you want to find someone where you can start doing trades, where you can do what's called a shout out for shout out, where you shout out their stuff and they'll shout out yours. And you can do it in the stories or you can do it in the feed and you start promoting each other. And this is what you would call partnerships. Like people, like, you know, when I see that Drake releases a new album, like I see DJ Khaled, like actually posting Drake's album cover, Scorpion, on his feed. And then I see Rihanna posting Drake's album cover on her feed. When DJ Khaled's new album comes out, I see Drake posting DJ Khaled's new album on his feed. So these are partnerships and they happen every single day. Companies, you know, like, Let's just say as an example, McDonald's might team up with Coca-Cola and do a big part, like do a big special campaign and Coca-Cola will promote it and then McDonald's will promote it. This is like, this is like something that's happened from you know the, the dawn of time where people are helping each other out, promoting each other. And this happens on Instagram every single day. And it's one of the fastest ways that we've been able to grow any of our accounts. So it's, it, it could be considered an organic strategy, it could not, it's totally up to you, but if you wanna take that one away, I highly, highly recommend it. So guys, we have one more strategy for you. It's a sneaky little bonus that I wanted to just put in here, and that is to use Instagram's new features always. Now, to be honest, we could do a better job at this ourselves, like for Founder or Healthish, but from my experience, one thing that I've found is when we post on stories, when stories just came out, that was super, super powerful. And we try and post as many stories as we can because if you look like, as an example, I'll pull it up here on the screen. If you look at, for example, 
Like, let's just go to health issue and we go, let's just actually, so if you look at an example, let's just go to founder on the home page, for example, you will see the person on the stories that comes up in your newsfeed kind of situation is the person that, that last posted. So if you can always be posting on stories, you're always gonna appear on the far left. And you can use that as a strategy because Instagram, it's one of their newest features, right? And they wanna serve people their newest features. And if you're putting content on one of their newest features, then I've found from my experience, the Instagram algorithm always places an importance on their newest features. So this is like, you know, all of these tactics that we're sharing with you, these will stand the dawn of time, the test of time, no matter like when you're watching this two years from now, these things are not going to change. Social media platforms are always going to place an importance on their newest features. So if you're using those newest features, whether it's IGTV, whether it's stories, like even, you know, this one, one, one thing you can actually do as well is you can insert like, um, I think there's something where you can insert alternative text. See here, you can insert alt text. That's a new feature that you could be using right now, like, you know, from the time that we're shooting this video for you, that you that they're gonna place more importance, right? Always use Instagram's newest features if you can. You know, right now, IGTV and Stories are some big ones. I just showed you the alternative text. And it's another way to organically grow your Instagram account as fast as you physically can. Okay guys, so those are my top five strategies to organically grow an Instagram account. You know, this is what we've done to generate, you know, like over a million plus followers. We're closing in on two. And you know, we've been doing this for quite some time now. This will stand the test of time. You know, these are algorithm proof free strategies. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please do leave a comment on this video and let us know how these strategies are going for you. Like if you're implementing them, let us know if it's working. Leave a comment, we'd love to see. We're here to help however we can. The founder mission is to help you create an ass kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.